Hey there, winner. I am just back from the gym, and yes, I happen to be wearing the same shirt I was wearing in the last video I did, but don't get it twisted. It's been washed in between. So anyway, hope you're having an awesome day. Wanted to share some thoughts with you. Just got back from the gym, as I said, sipping on a uh, post-workout drink. And um, a thought came to me while I was working out about what's the one addiction that all top achievers have? Now, you know, we talk about success on these videos. Success is the progressive realization of a worthwhile goal or dream, which means that once you have a worthwhile goal or dream and you take the first steps toward it, you are a success. Be encouraged in that. And you know, um, one of the things that Tony Robbins always says is that success leaves clues. clues. So let's break it down. What you do is you figure out what you want. You look for people who have achieved that, and Tony Robinson calls this modeling. You model the success they have. You get the success tenets that they displayed in getting to their achievement, and you make it your own. You create what's called a daily method of operation. So what does this have to do with the addiction? Hang with me. So once you've figured out those things that make up what a successful person has done to achieve the success that you're looking for, then what you want to do is you want to create a daily method of operation, and then, here's the addiction, you want to be addicted to the activity, not the results. Let me say that again. You want to be addicted to the activity, not the results, because the results will fool you. I just heard a quote last week, which I think is one of the greatest quotes. Hey, Dan Shaw, great, thanks for joining. The quote was, consistent effort may not give you consistent results, but consistent efforts will give you success. Let me say that again. Consistent efforts may not get you consistent results, but consistent effort will get you success. Hey, Jerry, that is a key statement. Think about that for a second, because so many people get wrapped up in having a period of consistency, and when they don't see the result they're looking for, they give up and they give up too soon, and that you don't want to do. You want to be addicted to the activity, and as, as you're addicted to the activity, success is inevitable. There's a book by Seth Godin. I got it right here. It's called The Dip, and it's a little book that teaches you when to quit and when to stick. Spoiler alert, in most cases, you need to stick, but the key is what happens is in The Dip, you have this initial success, right? That's that little hump right there. You have the initial success and you're like, oh, this is good. I'm bad. Mm -hmm. You're thinking all these great thoughts, right? And then you go into what's called a dip, where everything you touch does not turn to gold. And you're thinking, oh my goodness, what have I gotten myself into? Uh, maybe this was not meant for me. Maybe this is not my anointing. Maybe God doesn't want me to do that. Come on now. It's not that. It's that you need to persevere. We'll talk about that in a later video, but one of the causes you need to have is perseverance. Because as you, if you're willing to get through the dip, look what happens after that dip. It goes straight on up. It goes straight on up. So if you're willing to get into the dip, have that initial success, if you have that initial success, but then be willing to work out of the dip. Again, consistent action may not bring consistent results, but consistent action brings success. So be encouraged with that. Be addicted to your activity, not the results. And my brother, my sister, you will win. Have an awesome, blessed day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.